Hi, hi and welcome to Crazy Bake. Today I'm going to be making a golden syrup cake. It was a request from our Facebook by Suzanne. I think I got that right. Um, I just wanted it with custard so I'm going to do it. I have made the sponge puddings in the microwave before. And the way I make the sponge puddings in the microwave, you can put anything in them. You could still do it in the oven if you prefer. Um, so yeah, I've been jotting bits down, so hopefully this is where oh, we we'll get straight. Are we going straight into it? Yeah, straight into that. I'm behind the camera. Um, it's been about a week since we posted a video. Um, there's been so many, obviously, other requests from like Andrew. Yeah. I can't remember. He wanted jam roly poly. Jam roly poly. Um, and someone else wanted spotty dip, wasn't it? Yeah. At the moment. But the way I it is, I haven't got any sewer, and I no. don't really want to go out and get any. But I am working on that because I might have an alternative. So if the videos are a bit slow at the minute, and there's not that many, if we miss like a week or so, it's because <laughs> trying to get the ingredients. So yeah, let's go straight in. Right. I have done out uh, 200 grams of self-raising flour. I've gone for 100 grams of sugar. So I've got 50 grams of brown sugar, like brown ivy, and 50 grams of caster sugar. I've got two eggs. Um, I've put 100 grams of butter here. I've done 100 grams of golden syrup. I've put three tablespoons of milk here. I don't know if I'm going to be using it all. And I'm actually going to put a bit of lemon zest in it too. Zest it up a bit. So, um, you could, if you wish. On a hand whisk. On a whisk. Um, mm, mm, I don't care. I use a hand one, shall I? Put a whisk on there. Put a whisk. Right. <coughs> electric one, should I say, rather than a hand whisk? An electric hand whisk. <laughs> can tell we're not fair. <laughs> This is just a wing it and hope. Yeah. <laughs> you can put a bit of baking powder in it, but I'm using self-raising flour, so I don't really think you need to add baking powder to it. So, um, I'm just, normally you could mix it all together, but I'm just going to dump and run. Hopefully this is going oh. to go in. Obviously there's recipes out there that do it all different ways. This is just the way we do it. Uh, you, sometimes, you know, you might want to uh, melt this down a bit to make it so that it doesn't stick to everything. Because it can be, it, you know, you'd be able to see, then you need to let it cool. Uh, my sugar. It's not wet, don't worry. Um, I dropped a bit of the milk on it. <laughs> Butter. Let's like say you can mix all this in separately. A lot of recipes do. Um, we like to just throw it all in. Throw it in, I hope the best. Hmm. Don't have to whisk your eggs. No, you don't have to, but dump and run if you like. Uh, shall I chuck my lemon zest yeah. in as well? I'll just throw your milk in as well. I'm going to hold on <laughs> that. I don't want this to 
fly everywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this down. <coughs> Oops, I'm locking my notepad. How can I write my notes down? Helps if you turn it on. <laughs> Not one of the best whisks ever. For whisking. I'm doing I had the milk. No, I'm just gonna tip it all in. Yeah, about three tablespoons. <laughs> My hands ache with this one. It's mixed. <coughs> and then you get a prepped tin already lined. One of these to scrape down and make sure it's all combined. I can do it better. What gas mark? Uh, I'm going to go for four up there. Um, that's oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. About 160 C. I don't know. Fahrenheit. <laughs> don't know off the top of my head. Add over for about 20. This could, um, we yeah, um, look at that. Oh, sorry, about that. be back in a minute. Hi, sorry, about I'm back. Um, it's been sitting a while. But I'm now going to um, put it in the oven so that you see that. I'll shove it on the oven. The oven's warm anyway now. And I'm going to say about mm, about 30 minutes. It may take longer. I will let you know. Or less. <laughs> or less. I'll let you know. See you in a bit. Hi, welcome back to... I'll play the back to her. Um, I put it in at gas mark four for the 30 minutes. Um, it did <coughs> catch a little bit. So what I had to do, I ended up doing, because I put a skewer in it and it wasn't quite done, is I put a piece of foil over the top of it to stop it getting any darker. And I turned it down to gas mark three for about uh, roughly about 10 minutes so you might not want to have one so hot it's a choice that's why we say all ovens work differently yeah <laughs> and well we're experimenting because obviously it's got golden syrup in it as well so it's got a lot of sugar contents that will make it darker quicker so there we have it. It looks more darker on camera than it does in person. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> About that way. <laughs> See, it's stabbing. Right, I'm going to now poke some holes in it. You don't have to. But 
I feel like poking it. Just that it seeps through. Yeah. Just so that it. Make sure I get some down the sides. That's why. I mean, you can obviously leave it in the tin to do this. If you haven't got liner all up the sides. I've melted down um, two tablespoons that I had left over. And um, I've uh, literally like, yeah. squeezed them by. <laughs> so two tablespoons of golden syrup. And I've put a tablespoon of lemon juice into it. And I'm just going to, I couldn't make my mind up. So I'm writing as I go as well. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of lemon rind in it because I love the smell. And then all I'm going to do is literally just pour this over the top. Hopefully it'll drizzle in the holes just to, I know what you're thinking making a cake where but makes it delicious it just yeah it's just a little bit of a different and there we have it Got to find a knife and cut it. Obviously it's not going to be so right in yet. Just going to... Oh, normally I'd leave it in the tin or in the wrap to let it soak in. But today so I've poured it and cut into it. So there we go. We've literally uh, just cut it. We've literally just this minute... Look at that, Cut even it. though it looks really burnt on the outside, but actually in person it's not that burnt. Yeah, I mean, you'll get that thing, but you could always take the top bit. But it's so soft. Off. But there we go, yes, it is so soft. It's flaky. Falling to pieces. <coughs> mm. Or, if you don't want it like that, you've got. A bit of a different cake. It's not over done with the golden syrup. Obviously, you can see you've got the colour and it's got that hint of a lemon too. Mm. And there you go. Yeah, or if we don't wear it like that, you could always have it like this. Mm. Custard and cake. Mm. Would you like to try a piece like this? Mm. That is nice. Let me hold the camera for you just a minute. Okay. Oh, spinning. Very good when you're in isolation. Mm. Might be here all day, but. And do you want to try a bit without all your custard? No. Nope. Give <laughs> you no. Know. Okay, let's try a bit of that custard. Mmm. Nice. Really soft. Really flaky as it's dropping the crumbs on the floor. Mmm. Makes a, um, yeah, a difference, nice. cake. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. So we hope you enjoyed this recipe. Obviously, you know, there I was, I'll cut another bit. <laughs> Just to show you how it does. How it, uh, really hungry today. No, <laughs> to show you that I did cut it, but obviously it's not all cut, quite gone in yet. It's still a bit warm in the middle. Yeah, we cut the cake first so I could put a bit in custard. <laughs> so we do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us the thumbs up. Please subscribe. 
<laughs> throwing on my floor. And we hope, hopefully, and we'll be seeing you all very soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. If we can find recipes with the ingredients that we got. Yeah. Also, um, from both oh, of us. Oh, I come around here. Okay, now I get to flip this little screen <laughs> round. Um, from both of us, thank you to all the new subscribers. We're over at 104 subscribers. Yeah. Um, in the corner. <laughs> yeah. So thank you from both of us. Yes, thank you very much. We do love it. Mmm. I love the cake. <laughs> well, in isolation can yep. be fun. This is a much better workout than all the people you see on Instagram, Facebook doing workouts. I'm doing mine. Building up that muscle <laughs> from bowl to mouth. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> Get away. Yeah, so do you want to do your endy bit? My endy bit. I did. Oh, you did? I said, yeah. i do it again. <laughs> Oh, we hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't hear you. I was too busy. I was too busy eating. You know. <laughs> subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Also, Bye for now. also quickly, if you want to see us how we made our own barbecue flavoured sauce, marinating, let us know down below in the comments. I'm doing pork loin steaks. In there, it could be done with chicken. It was that nice, even my mum liked it. <gasps> Which she is a really fussy eater. So yeah, I'm not going to drag this on. It's my mum's video. So yeah, bye. Bye.